tips for studying pharmacology. This is one of the most common questions that I get by nursing students. Hi, my name is Amber, AKA Nurse Glamber. I'm a registered nurse, your NCLEX strategist, and I help nursing students confidently conquer the NCLEX exam. This is gonna be a two-part video because I'm gonna talk first about how to study for pharmacology if you are a current student in school. So the first thing that I did was got together with another nursing student and we created a shareable Google spreadsheet and started tackling different medications, classes, and all the things that you need to know for pharmacology. We tag teamed, so it wasn't always somebody doing all the work, but we color coded each medication by class, all of that. The second thing I did was make flashcards. So again, off of that spreadsheet that we had, I would make flashcards of every single classification of medication and reviewed on a regular basis. Another thing that was helpful was Picmonic. They do a great job of using avatars and videos to help you remember different types of medications, side effects, and interventions. We also did quizzes on Quizlet, so we would test each other, we would test our knowledge, we would constantly be studying different medications, classes, and everything that we would need to know for class. Yes, it was a lot of work. No, it wasn't fun. Yes, it sucked. But did it work? Also yes. So if you're looking for tips for farm while you're still in school, try these out. If you're a nursing student wanting tips for pharmacology for NCLEX, stay tuned for part two. If you found this helpful, make sure that you're following this page, save this video for later, and tag a future nurse.